Now something to note at the top is this little star here, which means, hey Mandy, you haven't saved in a while. And I'm like, I know, Premier, I like a risk. Uh, but that's not true. I don't like a risk. Save all the time. So if you if you see this and you're like, mm, maybe my project isn't save and I'm concerned, you can just go to file and save and it will update your project to the way you are currently. I want to very quickly skim through and see what I've got. Okay, so that's what we've got here. So I'm going to, for the first part of it, I'm going to see the whole clip. Let's double check I've seen all of that. Yeah, and he walks off. So I'm going to have them looking. I'm going to have I for in. I might keep that yawn in, the first one. And then I'm going to press O. For ease today, I think I'm just going to drag it in so you can see that you do that. You may get a box up if you if the clip is different from your sequence settings. Now, if you've made your sequence what you want your sequence to be on export, you do not want to change it. You do not want to. You want to press this blue button that's very much encouraging you not to do that. Press that. Thank you. Thank you uh, to our Lord and Saviour, Premier Pro. We'll go to the next one and we'll have the dog in slow-mo. It says walking. He's not walking. He's like, da, 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 da. I'm going to press I again. I'm going to go a bit further, press O, and I'm going to make sure my play header, sorry, you're going to, is on the edit of that clip. Now, if you want to snap your play header to the top or the beginning of a clip, top and tail of a clip, I should say, uh, you can just press your up and down keys like this. It's really useful. Oh, that's a long, long bit of footage. We don't need that much. Um, so if you have find yourself wanting to get rid of something after the playhead, like I've done there, you can use a shortcut key called W and it will delete everything that's ahead of that playhead up until the next cut point. So which is the end of the clip in this case. If you want to do it the other way, where actually you were like, oh, I don't want the beginning of that, you can press Q on your keyboard and it will snap it up to the last cut. If th there might be a gap there, it will snap it to the end of that clip. So it, for example, if there is a gap, and I press Q, it's going to snap it there. Equally, maybe I don't want the gap. I'm just going to press my up and down keys to snap to here, but I want to get rid of the gap. Another way to do it is W and it will push everything up as well. So that's another way to do that. Shortcuts are the key to being a super fast editor. Some of us have no time to be looking for symbols. So we now have our selects. Now this, this is why I made this is why I made a selection timeline, guys. I'm just, I'm leaning in because I have a secret. And this is how I work. We have our two sequences here and I've already put all my selects in, but maybe you've done loads of B-roll to cover some cuts. These are my selects clips. These are the best clips. They don't really need the story. They are just the best B-roll clips. Now, I want to edit something, but I also want access to these clips from my sequence. I'm going to pull my selects and you can see here that it highlights in blue where I, where I can put it. I can put it as the main sequence, which it currently is. I can put it at the bottom. I can put it at the top. I tend to work by putting it at the bottom because I know in my head it makes sense that what I've left is at the top. And then I'm going to let go. And now I have two timelines on my screen because I am the all-powerful editor. I have two timelines on here now. It is very pushed for space, admittedly, but the cool thing here is instead of like going back, oh, I wanted this part of the clip, or maybe I need this again, and now I can select that clip and just drag it. How powerful is that, guys? How cool is that? And now I can just pull my clips in from the bottom, my amazing clips I've already edited, and I can quickly put them on a timeline. So that's great. Mm -hmm.